Humans and other mammals undergo double circulation. Here, the blood from the body, as you can see, if you follow this pink, it gets into the heart, moves to the, from the heart into the lungs, and then comes back to the heart again before it is sent out to the body. Blood moves from the body into the heart, it is pumped to the lungs, gets back from the lungs, and then it is pumped out of the body. So here what we clearly see is that in one cycle, the blood enters the heart twice. The blood enters the heart twice. The first one is where the deoxygenated blood enters the heart. It is then pumped to the lungs where the blood will gain the oxygen. It will come back to the heart and then it will be pumped to the rest of the body. Now amphibians example the toads and then the newts reptiles lizards and snakes birds and mammals all undergo double circulation now there are two circuits for blood passing through the heart there are two processes over here one is the pulmonary circuit and then the second is the systematic circuit so in double circulation there are two main processes involved. We have the pulmonary action and then the systematic action.